Poor DJ Convoy. He's got uh, PTSD, the Vince McMahon era of WWE. Hey, listen, brother, I do too, but you know what? It's over. It's gone. It's done. I still have to, I have to, I have to still answer the phone these days, despite my PTSD of Tim Flowers calling me for years. But it's done. He doesn't call me anymore. Got to get over it at some point. So I realize that there have not been sweeping changes yet, but you know what? Let's see what happens on on this Raw show here tonight. Because I see things that apparently nobody else sees. I don't get it. But that's fine. That's fine. You don't have to watch the shows if you don't want to. But Raw is tonight, and this is the lineup for the show. Bobby Lashley versus Ciampa for the U.S. title. You know what I'd do if I were Hunter? I'd make Ciampa the champion. And listen, I'm a big fan of Bobby Lashley. And these fans love Bobby Lashley. And Bobby Lashley is super over. But you got to send a message. you got to send a message that you're going to be making some changes right here. And this is nothing, this change has nothing to do with Lashley. This change has to do with Ciampa. The fact that Ciampa got brought up and was, at best, a manager type that did matches here and there. And remember the first time he came up and they just never did anything with him? And I think that, uh, you know what they could do? You know what I'd do if I were Triple H? You know what I'd do, Mike? I'll tell you. This damn show's in Cleveland tonight. If I were Triple H... Johnny Gargano comes back and helps his old friend Ciampa win that title. And then you're telling people that things are different. You're bringing back that, that small guy that never had a chance on the main roster. Johnny Gargano under Vince never had a chance on the main roster. But man, you know who pushed that guy to the moon? Hunter. And if you want to let people know that things have changed, that's a good way to do it. We have the the women's tag team title tournament beginning. You know what I do? On. You know what? Hold, hold on. on. Let me just get through this. Because you know what I do if I were Hunter? You I know what I do? This a bit, but it's a bit. I, I, it's not a bit. I would do this women's tag team tournament. I don't care who wins. Although if it were me, it would be Asuka and Kyrie Sane. But that's beside the point. And uh, and they would. Kyrie Sane. You heard me. You heard me. And <laughs> oh, you want? Are you not paying attention to Twitter? Well, Asuka said, I'd like to win those tag team titles, but where's my partner? And you know who responded? Kyrie Sane. So anyway, I would have uh, whoever wins. It doesn't matter. But then at the Clash of the Castle in front of 70,000 people. And by the way, that is also on AEW All Out Weekend. So you're really sending a message that weekend. That's the return of Sasha and Naomi. And they issue a challenge to the new champions at that gigantic show. That's what I do. And then we have Rey Mysterio and Finn Balor. And you know what I'd do if, if I were Hunter in that situation? I'd have I'd have Finn Balor win when Dominic turns on Rey, and that's when this crew tells him, you know what, you're uh, you're uh, 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 egotistical father, uh, that guy. You know he, you know he's Rey Mysterio Jr. Well, you know what? You're the actual junior of Rey Mysterio, unlike Rey Mysterio, who Rey Mysterio Sr. was his uncle, not his dad. So your dad never, he never gifted you the mask. So we're going to gift you a mask. And they have a badass mask for this guy. You put a mask on Dominic, you turn him heel. He's part of this crew. That's what I'd do if I were Hunter. But you know what? I'm not. So we'll see what they do on Raw tonight. What do you think? How do you live with your omniscience? Uh, seriously. Yeah. Hey, listen, it's hard. It's a burden. Let me tell it? you. Oh God, <laughs> you don't well, even know. Here's a little bit of an issue that I would point out about having Johnny Organo come out and help Champa win the title because it's not that I'm necessarily against that because it would make for a hell of a moment. We've seen favorites like Dakota Kai come back. We've seen EO Sky come back when it looked like she would be back on her way to Japan. So you never know what you can see in this new Triple H administration. But would that not put Johnny Gargano 
directly in the camp of The Miz. And can you imagine the way Candace and and well, obviously, you're going to have to have some sort of awkward moment with Austin Theory, of course. But can you imagine those three alongside The Miz and Maurice nonstop? Well, here's Why the difference. Are you doing this? Here's the Why difference. Are you doing this? Because, Brian? listen, Hunter's not the one that put Ciampa as a heel with uh, The Miz. So the point is, this guy, this guy, it's time for a clean slate. Why is Champa? Why is Champa a heel with the Miz? Whose dumb idea was that? So it's a great way you can split them off. They can be baby faces. They can be wearing a tag bright team. colors at that. Wearing bright colors at that, Tommaso Champa. But uh, look. bro, there's a lot of things I'd change about this company if I actually were in charge, and a lot here's, of it has to do with whose cast is what. Here's the thing about Tommaso Champa is. I don't need to see him main event WrestleMania. What I need to see is layers of a mid card, including people who actually have some credibility. So when you defeat them on the way up or on the way down, whatever, you know, something actually matters there. And I think that's a great spot for Ciampa. And that's what I was thinking. And I would love to see him win the U.S. title. But I will say this. If Gargano comes back. To me, you can have a situation where Lashley wins by DQ or whatever it is, holds onto the title because, look, with all due respect, Gargano and Ciampa are not spring chickens. They have been banged up nonstop. Johnny Gargano is a very young man who's had a very old back for quite some time. I don't know if I would rather see them in the tag team ranks, and obviously they still have to pull their weight there, but at least... They would be tagging in and out, and maybe that would actually extend them a little bit. I don't know if that's the the, the worst idea, but I kind of like that. If you don't want to take the title off of Lashley and you're going to bring Gargano back, make them a group away from The Miz and just have them be them. You know, you could have uh, you could have Johnny uh, or you have uh, uh, Ciampa lose, so he doesn't end up with the title, and then Miz and Theory stomp a mud hole in uh, uh, Ciampa. Yeah. Turning him babyface, and then Gargano comes out to make the save. And it's not my number one match for a first feud with those guys, but you could do Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa versus The Miz and Theory. Gets Theory out of the title picture, gives these two guys a match. I mean, listen, I'm not the biggest fan of The Miz, and Austin Theory has not blown me away in the ring of late, but he ain't having a bad match with Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. It ain't happening. Nope. Especially so, not Ciampa, no way. Gargano, both of them. Dude. Well, I mean, you could at least say there's some rust on Gargano again. I mean, well, look, I, I'm not expecting him to walk back in there and be perfect or anything like that, but Ciampa's been humming right now. So, yeah, obviously with him, it's not going to be any question. And again, I see him, regardless of what happens with Gargano, you know, I still see Ciampa as, if, if anybody's going to have a longer term stay there, I'd bet a dollar on him. And then everyone, uh, everyone's mad at me for the idea that I suggested, you know, can someone hire this Takeshita here in this company, AEW? I mentioned WWE, and here comes the PTSD again. Listen, I, I realize, I realize, I, I, had the, I, I watched the same stuff you guys watched. But you know what else I watched? I watched NXT when Triple H was in charge. And Can't don't go. even tell me, don't even tell me he did a bad job with Kyrie. Don't even Kushida. tell me that he did a bad job with any of those guys. I mean, it, it became a disaster. Kenta, oh wait, time out. Let's see how they started with Kenta. Remember that whole deal with the Ascension? Look. Well, Kenta had work. an issue in that he, he hurt people he had, early. He beat the crap out of him, and nobody really wanted to do anything with the guy. That was an so, issue. So did Saray. I mean, that's what you get when you get these guys. You expect them to come over and just be something that they're not. So then they go and they thump somebody who's got very little experience in the, you know, the NXT Performance Center. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, again, obviously you don't want to hurt anybody. And I don't think he ever had the intention to. But I mean, again, like w w they sign people and it's like, what did you expect them to, to, to be? What did you expect them to do? You know what I mean? It just didn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me. Never did, never will. And Kushida didn't. They didn't have things on all the right cylinders with him there. And I look, it's, I'm not saying it was terrible, but it wasn't. It certainly wasn't to the level it could have been. Back in a moment with more Observer Live. 
This is how the show begins, really. Oscar gives a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.